Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and I'm going to bring you guys back all the way back old school and take it to the basic level. And today we're going to do is create a reference image manually. I'm going to break it down into a little mini series for you guys, but uh, this one is all about doing it basic mode, right? So let's get started. So first things first, I created a virtual machine called VREF image within my uh, VMware EXI environment. Uh, I inserted the ISO, I booted inside the ISO to launch Windows 10, and you get the nice little Windows set up. Super basic, you know, pick your language, uh, your terms, your keyboard, click next, install now, accept the license and terms, then you're able to click on next. I'm going to do a custom install Windows only, advanced. You're going to pick your hard drive, you're going to click on next, and it's going to start creating and copying all the windows files to get your machine up and running so once all that's done it's going to reboot a couple of times and you're going to see this you want to definitely do customize you want to uncheck all this crap because most likely you don't want that for your reference image go all the way to the bottom do the same thing turn off whatever you don't need click on next customize settings turn everything off this is really up to you but for me i'm turning everything off click on next Another uh, browse protection update. I'm turning everything off. Click on next and choose how you want to connect. Now, you could do it through Azure or you could do a local Active Directory domain. Uh, for this reference image, I'm going to do a local Active Directory domain, which allows me to create a local account to continue. Click on next. Uh, give it a username, a password, re enter your password, and enter a password hint. And then click on next. It's going to start doing its thing and then it loads you into your, you know, your desktop, right? Now, from here, this is where you start installing the programs, push out whatever Windows updates you want, Visual C++ stuff, Office 2013, whatever Office 2019, whatever you want to install, just install, 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 update, make sure it's good to go. Once the machine is ready for you to capture it, you need to get inside your Fire Explorer, go into this PC open up the C drive and when C drive you want to go to Windows within Windows you want to go inside system 32 within system 32 you're going to see a folder called SIP prep double click on it and you're going to see SIP prep that's the application that we need to double click on it when you double click on it you're going to see the system tool uh, by default the one that you want is enter system out of the box definitely check off generalize and the shutdown option is going to be shut down I don't need to restart it or anything like that I just need the machine to shut down and then once you do that press OK it's going to process start cleaning up getting the SIP prep ready it's gonna reboot the machine it's gonna shut down the machine once it shuts down the machine it's time for us to capture that machine Whoa, right now I'm going to show you guys that on the second part so hopefully you guys enjoy this video leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next little mini series part peace out 